this chords are <laughs> Okay. Um, Rihanna didn't have a rocky pregnancy. That baby came out ASAP. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, what's its name? <laughs> Jack, I knew. Like. <laughs> Hi, Divas. Diva. Oh, Diva. It's Pride Month, Diva. Oh, it's Diva Month, honey. Are you prideful, bitch? Um. <clears throat> ooh. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, it's just going to be a first name. Okay. Diva. Oh, Diva. Hi, Diva. Very Diva of you to drop a last name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The crazy sound waves. Okay, welcome back, everybody, Ooh. to um, our second and final Pride Month episode already because Period. we're um, doing every other week. So, yeah, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. What is it's the 22nd? Yeah. Yes. Um, of June, yes. That's crazy. It's almost 4th of July. Today oh is the 4th God. of July. Do you even do anything for 4th of July? I will probably do nothing. Well, I remember a few years ago we drove, over, huh? We drove like to Timbuktu to get you, cause Kelly and I went out for dinner with her family. It was like her birthday celebration, like late birthday. Oh. And then, um, we had to drive all the way to TT's to get you from all the way out by the. I'm not gonna drop names. We're gonna dox. Yeah. The lake. Oh. And then like all the way there, back there, back. And then we did Lake fireworks. Geneva. And then Neoma was here, and um. I had little pop oh, things, the pop things that okay, you yes, on the ground. Yes, yes, yes. And then Neoma's mom showed up, and rocker. I was throwing them at, yeah, Neoma's rocker mom. I was throwing them by Neoma's feet and making her jump, and she was, like, jumping up and down. Like, the drama, it's like the little pop things. She's like, a rocker mom. Um, and her mom got really mad at me for she doing that. So like, she legitimately you. got mad. Just, hey, what she, the fuck? Yeah, don't do that. I was like... My baby. My baby. And I was like, Neoma, open your mouth. Pop. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. You ain't Neoma messing with no job. average shit. Pop, pop. Um, so, yeah. Um, Two burgers, please. I hope everyone's been well since we last talked. Um, what what, is... what are y'all talking about? Who am I? Aquafina. Is the answer. Scotto. <laughs> I don't know why this popped into my head. I guess, okay. This was a note. Um, evil people that we need to talk about. Right. I don't remember. I'm so mad because I remembered somebody else who I'm like, this is somebody who's bad news. Like something bad is going to come out about them. And I like have just felt it in my gut. Like how I say that about Pink Panthers, even though there's right. no evidence yet. Right. Also, there's no update for that yet. So <laughs> we're still waiting on her downfall. Hopefully it doesn't come, but like I know it is in my heart of hearts. Do you like when people say that? Like, bitch, I don't care what you know in your heart of and hearts. And what does that mean? I heart think of, of a, hearts. I think of a deck of cards. No, fully. And, like, bitch, like, you have another heart in your heart, girl. Oh, Doubt it. Just wait. I have a trick up my sleeve. I have eight chambers in my heart. What? No, you don't. You don't know what I have. Okay. I don't think that's how anybody works. Boy, please. Fuck you, you took, Tom. You took half of, or no, in all of Twinum's heart. Yes. And now Twinum's heartless and cold. And Twinum actually is because he won't fucking answer texts or um, Snapchats. What do y'all feel about bitches who refuse to answer a message? Hate them. It's like, I've spoken on this before. I've been guilty of that as of late. But, like, I'm not... Twinum is somebody who's always been like difficult to like get a hold of. Yeah, and it's like I know you're on your fucking phone. phone. Like he's on the phone always, all the time, all the time. I don't look on Snapchat anymore. I just do not give a shit. Um, but that was the one person. Every time I open that app, there's new stories posted nonstop. What story? I feel like he's definitely slowed down. But again, I don't watch people's stories. I post when I give a fuck. Well, I don't know. That's how it used to be. So I assume that's how. It still kind of is. It's all for you. What do you all feel about Janet Jackson? Anyways, look up <laughs> Janet Jackson, All For You. Um, Such a good fucking song. Great. Um, But anyways, the evil person that I... Right. It's going to drive me nuts. It's like I've been thinking about it for the past two days because I'm like, I need to bring that up and have there be a record of copyright. I'm not kidding. Just kidding. It was a Pride Month prank. 
Oh, um, pra- oh my, you are. Stop it. <laughs> Fuck. No. Okay, how is it this far away? And it's Because still... you are fucking, you're loud and gray. Am I loud? Am I loud? The screen on the laptop cracks. Um, no, but I will. Did I say it? Timothy Chalamet already? I think I did when we talked about that I, initially. I did not know that he's actually evil with that, uh, evil and with that girl Kylie. Well, actually, is like a loaded okay, right? But I was looking at the blogs, the tabloids when we were just at bleep and well, the cover and it goes, um, race to marriage, Kylie with Timothy and fucking, um. <laughs> And fucking uh, and that other girl with um, who's that boy? That other girl with that boy, Zendaya, (laughs) Tom Holland again. Uh, Law don't play about Zendaya. Um, no, what is it? What is it? Um, Bad Bunny and oh girl, oh Kylie Jenner or Kendall Jenner. I be that Kendall Jenner. Yes. Everybody, I think they're getting married. Nobody believes the Timothy Chalamet thing. Oh. Like every time I see it, like uh, on the Twitter accounts, it'll be like strange as hell. So and so sources say that Timothy is like really like enjoying Intimate. his time, yeah. and everyone in the comments is like, "How like the PR is like so stupid because nobody's paying attention to it. Nobody gives a shit. That's weird couple. It's nobody strange. gives a fuck. Like yeah. that's why push that. Make it something crazy." Pick two polar opposite, like, crazy fucking people and try to sell it. And at least it's entertaining, even if it's not real. This just nobody cares about. Everyone's like, we don't care. Stop posting this. This isn't, like, real. She's a mother. That's, like, real. That is weird. Stepfather Timothy. Yeah. And he's evil. And he's playing Willy Wonka in the new Charlie and the Chalk Factory. That is crazy. coming out later this year. That is coming out later this year. I haven't seen shit about it. Me neither. I just saw a poster that said, like, December 2023. I don't like that. That's, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Is it scary? I don't know. I don't think so. Like, it's just like an origin story. Who gives a fuck? Even though we saw the origin in the last one with Johnny Depp, which is a great movie. That movie's so good. Yes. That's a good one. Very and you, camp. you see him become who he is. We don't need Timothy fucking Shell, man. I promise you that. The Bob is cunt. But, anyways, Timothy's evil, and so is another celebrity. And I'll try to think about who it is. Oh, you don't remember. No. no. It was something, someone in, um, something I just watched recently where I'm like, oh, this is, something's off. Like playing a character and you go, oh, something is off. No. Oh my God. No. I, it might have just been like on TV. I saw the person. I remember I was sitting watching TV. It was not a fucking character. I will keep everyone updated with that though. Um, one other thing, uh, friend of the show, Kitty, not the other, <laughs> not, uh, Putsy. Yeah. Um, Kitty helped me do an inventory of the Webkins wall finally and the Webkins mountain that's currently in front of us that you can't see. And we made a spreadsheet and there's a grand total of, you didn't even guess. I made an Instagram post and some people late. participated. So that was fine and dandy and I appreciate that. Um, and the grand total is 1,157, but I did find three strays since then. So I add them to the sheet. 1,160, I tagged Webkins, told them to give me a brand deal, and they didn't. So, and, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, I didn't get that. They saw my story, and then they didn't give me shit. So that wasn't good. So they And flopped. I wasn't pleased with it. They did, because I'm like, you saw it. You couldn't even be like, that's awesome. Nothing. Sweet oh, nothing. no. They're, no, they're like, girl, do you think you're above? Like, what is it? Well, the thing is, I am. And it's like, I have never seen dedication like this from any other fan. So no, fully. throw me anything, anything at all. But to just see it not say shit. What I was would be like, your ideal present? Oh, the ideal thing is like, oh, we want to work out a little deal with you you promote the new webkin stuff i impose on your story or whatever that's ideal that'd be so fun right. and fine yeah realistically that would be fun. them being like we're gonna give you a little gift card for um a year of deluxe membership for free Ugh. online for the game okay that part is kind of it's like i would take the, i would take anything it would be an honor so if you're they paid you dust and they snubbed you yeah they paid me nothing during the pride month I, wow they're evil they are um what is it called rainbow washed 
they were not rainbow washed because this is well i guess it wasn't about the podcast though because i was gonna say a podcast co-hosted like what's the tea? by nb and then they diss us but they don't know that i guess so you don't like trans femmes that is so interesting webkins. we don't think that webkins don't listen to her. <laughs> i'm still interested um okay okay um also you're out of work aren't you I am not out of work. <laughs> well, you I changing... transitioned. Okay. There we go. My my work, my my income. My bills have been affected, affected only slightly. Um my position has changed. Like life, life is all about change. Um but I think I'm going to get another job. I had an interview, I went swimmingly, and I just think I'm going to be sexy and earning money and being hot. Sexy and rich. Um we'll see. And maybe I'll go blonde too. Is blonde, skinny, rich, and a little bit of a bitch. Okay. Come on now. Why would you ever consider that? Absolutely. Not my actual hair, but okay. well, a nasty little wig. Yes, God. Nasty. <laughs> like, kind. Actual nasty. Wig. I would look so calm with blonde hair. Like, it's. It's so simple. It is That's simple. That's the new saying. I know everybody loves saying so, yeah. So, yeah. Now it's. It's simple. It's, it's so, so simple. simple for and, bleep whoever it is. Like <laughs> oh, it's really simple for them to fire me at my job. It's just so simple, simple. for them. It it's is. simple. Um, no, okay. So and I was with a friend, and um, she added, "It's quite simple, really. Quite." It's is that who you pulled it from? Quite simple. No. And now that I say it, I don't know if she added it or if I said it. Oh, I'm scared. I don't know if she added it, and I was like. Oh my god, yes. Or like, I was just saying it's so simple, and I just added it's quite simple, and we just kept saying that back and forth. And now it's infiltrated every sentence. Well, it's quite simple, really. How long had that been off? It just turned off. Oh, period. Yeah. It's quite simple, really. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> you like if you bring it up, it'll you'll get attacked with it. Anyways, I want to share something with you. Go right ahead. <laughs> My dad is a retired submarine engineer. Oh, I asked him okay. about the Titanic's sub- we, Okay, go ahead. Submersible? Yeah. I oh, I don't like that. I don't like how that just my mouth anyways. Yeah, no, everybody's been tweeting talking about the missing submersible. It's like go to hell. Sub. Go to hell. We all know what you're missing sub. Happy Pride Month. Quick question, is Pride for kids or for kids? For those Oh my god. Um it's for, oh, my oh, dad sorry. is a retired submarine engineer. It's for sweet geniuses. Um, I asked him about the Titanic submersible, and he sent me this. Since the 2000s, all submersibles of any size have to have a small television and DVD player so that if you get stuck down there, you can watch Trek and chill out a bit. As the oxygen okay. begins to run out, your brain function is affected, and your, your bills are affected. Your bills are affected, <laughs> too. And... Your IQ drops into the ideal Shrek zone. The perfect mental state is to truly enjoy. Oh, the perfect mental state to truly enjoy Shrek. At least, though, die having experienced Shrek in a much more meaningful way than any of us probably ever will. Huh, that's interesting. But also, it would have been funnier if they would have said a different movie. Just because I feel Shrek is. What do you think? This is true. A played out film. Absolutely not. <laughs> so no. So since she had creative freedom, absolutely not, and chose the movie that was like so funny to just say what, in 2016 what, what movie? to inject. No, I'm saying like Shrek, like choosing that. No, yeah. Uh, what you, movie? What did you have said? Literally, <laughs> Ant Bully. <laughs> what? The Ant Bully. What is that? Exactly. Like no one fucking watched the Ant Bully. Um, no. Are you gonna watch Bottoms? I don't know what that is. You talked. About, did you talk about that last week, or did I don't know. We, we just talk about that, or something about it on Twitter? I don't Are know. Are y'all bottoms? I haven't seen anything <laughs> on anything about it besides a poster for it. You all are pesky, hungry little bottoms, and it's okay. getting so fucking. It's getting weird. It's getting weird and bottomy. But um, are you, did you think that was fact? I saw it. I screenshotted it. I have it here now. And you I'm going to say fact. that it is truth, and I love it. Okay. You're. You said. What did you say I do yesterday? I re. I'm the revisionist. Yes, you are a revisionist. Because what were we talking about? And I forgot. Fuck. You are the revisionist. 
You and, said some oh, bullshit. And then what did I'm I like, say, though? The sentence I said after that was so funny. About, like, me justifying why I, like, make up, like, stupid shit. Oh, Fuck. I have no idea. God damn it. I should have fucking typed it down. It was funny. It was, like, kind of inquisitive, too. That's not oh. the word. Oh. That's not the word I was looking to use. Not even philosophical. That was stupid. No. Oh. Okay. The submarine. Oh. What happened, y'all? And why? <laughs> what happened, y'all? No, the thing was, like, nobody's talking about how they're... Somebody, well, I guess they are kind of talking about it. Somebody made a thread on Twitter about it, and it was all, an entire thread about how Uwa is intertwined with the downfall of the Titan submersible. That's not true, and I'll see you in fucking court. That was uh, Queen Nyjah. Who is this Queen Nyjah? Actually, though, but... Who's Queen Nyjah, Kaya? No, um, that shit was disturbing. The whole thing was disturbing, like, very scary and sad, and people don't, like, did not give oh, a I fuck. Oh, I saw the photo. No, you just showed it to me. Yeah. People don't give a fuck because they're billionaires and stuff. And it's like, sure, yeah, like, nobody probably should be a billionaire. Like, that's, there's no real reason to justify that. Like, nobody needs that much money type thing. But it's like, also now, update, if you haven't found out, I'm sure you fucking have their dead. Um, it imploded. <laughs> and imploded, like, days ago. I'm so. not laughing at <laughs> the death. I'm laughing at this is crazy. <laughs> no, it is. The whole thing was nuts. Like... Everybody knows the details now, so I'm not going to get into it. But the one thing that was funny, the little knockoff Xbox controller being used to, like, control it, like, the entire ship. And then somebody posts on Twitter, they're like, the captain, when the batteries ran out. And it's, like, this little boy raging and throwing his, like, Xbox controller on the ground. I hope Elon is cooked and over. You know he's not. so bad. He's doing a cage match with Mark Zucker. Knock him the fuck. Oh, but it's Mark. Put them both in the cage and drop them into boiling water. Yes, and put a tiger in there, a bangle. Mingle? No, because then the tiger will get boiled. Oh, okay. I wasn't. And also, about Mark Zuckerberg's laser eyes will just shoot out and kill the tiger instantly. So we don't want that. But anyways, yeah. Are it they was, really gonna fight? They both said they want to do it. I hope so. Ew. They are. Uh, They're. So, I don't want to talk about nobody's looks, but Jesus not, Christ. <laughs> okay. Um. But anyways. Um. Yeah. So it imploded like days ago. Like they haven't. So I guess best case scenario for it ending badly was that it imploded because they like it happened so quick you don't even <laughs> fucking know. Rather than like slowly dying, but like people they were doing sonar and shit checking for sounds, and then they detected banging on some sort of banging noise coming from deep in the ocean, like every half hour. And everyone's like, "Oh my god!" Like they're fucking in there. Like that's so scary. Like they're and, fucking well, in and there. Then, I didn't mean to word it like that because then people were like. Oh, they're fucking in there. And it was like a man, his son, and three other men who are, if they were alive, the scariest possible situation you could perhaps ever be in, unless like you're in outer space in a situation like that, where you just like are so screwed and everybody up on land, I didn't see a single person on Twitter being like, oh my God, this is scary. This said joke after joke, insane, like and it is like really sad like and scary cuz at the end Between of the day the it's a five, human. who do you think bottoms like have some fucking respect and class <laughs> oh wait like, what was it? it oh my god another of the jokes was um my uh the banging is my pussy <laughs> we were trying to figure out what the banging is and this one person said the banging is my pussy and a person under it said have some class like people are sick like that's how all the comments were or the it's like banging is my pussy or it's mark? the one was like oh there's no use in continuing looking for it like nikki the whale ate it <laughs> referring to nikki minaj like people were either dead already or we're slowly dying in a horrifying situation. How can we involve Nicki Minaj in this? Or the one where they're like, somebody's like, oh my God, I hope they'd find them. And they go, um, they, yeah, they might, uh, stand Nicki, let them go. <laughs> and also, I didn't know what that meant. If that meant let them go as in like, let them die down there as if it's like a Cardi Wait, B fan stand Nikki, or if it's like, them let them go, like free them from this horrifying situation. Either way. Nicki Minaj for some reason in it but I the mean, craziest part well it might not be the craziest part kind of is the one the billionaire from England his stepson posted on Facebook the one day and he goes it might seem distasteful but I'm going to the Blink-182 concert tonight or whatever and he goes their music's always helped me through hard times so he goes to this concert and then like Cardi B posted this like 
rant video about how like awful that is and like how nobody cares just because it's a rich guy and stuff like blah blah blah. and it's like no you don't know what goes on behind closed doors yeah. like no so you it, don't it is it a bad look of course because like also you didn't have to say anything rich guy that too like go to the concert yeah, nobody would have noticed you i promise you're not famous yeah and then um but you are a stalker yeah, we're getting to that. Because then after that, he goes to the concert, whatever. And then I think he met the band. He, like, because oh, everyone's like, oh, you guilted them into meeting you or whatever. But then the next day on Twitter, just some OnlyFans girl posts. And she's just, like, in her bra and underwear and just says, um, can I sit on you? Like, that was just the caption of the tweet. And then he quote tweets and says, yes, please. With the smiley heart face with, like, the hearts around it emoji. And then you, the tweet right before that said, so please pray for my family during this trying time. And it's like, what is going on? But then another tweet surfaced of this one woman saying, um, apparently my ex who um ended up stalking me and then getting jail time after threatening to kill me and shit, um, who was in jail for two years, they released oh. without telling me. And then I see that his dad is missing on some submarine while going to look for the Titanic. And everyone's like, Two years. What the fuck? Like, so there's layers to this. Like, so he does seem unstable and whack, but then he was, he clapped back at Cardi B. They were going back and forth. I get, well, I don't know if she responded again. He said something. I don't know. But then somebody else tweeted like, oh, real nice of you to be going and living it up while like your family is like, what's he? And then he, okay. I, let me. I want to make sure I should really should have checked this earlier. Make sure it wasn't a fake tweet. Um, if it's real, it's in insane that he said this. This is all alleged. You know there are there's never a, there's nary a fact on this show. Yeah, no, don't listen. <laughs> just enjoy. It's just entertainment. Um, lives have been lost though. Yeah, that's not entertaining. To Twitter, it is. Stan Twitter is loving it. Oh my god. They, okay, um, no. Uh. I found okay. I did find it. This is real. This was yesterday. He tweeted this, um, because somebody is this responding to Cardi? I think um, somebody tweeted like defending Cardi when a Barty gang members was like exactly like what a piece of shit, and he responds with, "She is as trashy as your mama." N word hard R yesterday uh-huh. this is not some someone like digging and pulling up a tweet from like 2011 like where every time like somebody gets attention people do that no this was yesterday <laughs> yesterday like okay and then also what oh there's another one it looks like just like from yesterday as well quit tripping in my hood i can say bleep without the er of course i'm down like that <laughs> I'm down like that. What's happening in my hood? Yes, please. The hood. The hood in your I hope he doesn't mansion. inherit a goddamn thing. No, and that's the thing, because at first everyone's like, that's kind of funny. He's just living up because like that inheritance is about to come through. But also, that's not guaranteed. It's, no. it's his stepdad. And I hope he didn't fuck with you at all. Yeah, honestly. Cause, and also, he's 30 fucking 7. Ah, uh, like, uh, goddamn it. But like gets worse his tweets when i was looking at them yesterday somebody like collected some of them and it was like clearly he's like something's cooked in yeah. the brain like the one tweet where he said another th- something along the lines of like i'm hood or blah 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 and then the tweet right before that is i can be socially awkward sometimes exclamation point well the hood can be socially awkward believe that i'll have to take his word socially for it. awkward in the ghetto like so I don't know. There's so many layers Trashy, to all like of this. Like your mama. Crazy. <laughs> crazy in the year 2023. And literally... On Twitter. On Twitter and also when the entire world's is eyes are on you. you. Like this while this like spout. insane thing. Also, why are you on Twitter to begin with? Like, honestly, if this is... He As, obviously didn't give a fuck about that man. It had to be like that. But Sorry. if he does, and something, I don't know if he's just cooked in the brain, what, like, just delete the app for now, and you should probably be with your family and stop being insane online. Because I, like, he seemed a little weird. Oh, this is the one tweet. Raves and baseball games are my two favorites. Baseball emoji, crystal ball emoji. 
And then I hit my CBD pen like it's a crack pipe, exclamation point. And then the <laughs> one right before like that was, I can be socially awkward, exclamation point. This must be how Marilyn Monroe felt. We will find Is a way to bring so Mickey in. Um, yeah, so that shit was um, wild. The whole thing was crazy. Rest in peace to those who died. <clears throat> Um, it should have been the stepson, I guess. Uh, quite literally, like, <laughs> like <laughs> I wish he fucked with you. Yeah, you would have been the one instead of like, let's hope somebody Under else. Better. The sea. So yeah, that was uh fucked up, and that was that was actually really crazy that that happened. Like that was a very surreal, yeah. like odd thing, because there hasn't been like a story. Like it reminded no, fully, me, yeah, like of Balloon Boy, Balloon Boy, who I fucking love. Like I love that story so much. Did we touch on this? No. Months ago? Maybe. Balloon Boy, if you're not familiar, was in 2009. There was, like, this weird fucking family of, like, they all, they, they had sons, and they all, like, had really long hair and, like, had a weird, like, band that they did as a family. Like, weird Aliens. Vibes. Alien clones. By, Alien clones. By Naked Brothers Band is so good. It's a um, good song. But, um, yeah, no, they, like, decided that the dad was, like, an inventor or some shit. Who knows? I don't know what the fuck is even true. If that was just a plot line for this, and he made this like balloon that you're supposed to travel in, it looked like a UFO, like a weather balloon type thing. Yeah. And it could fit like one person, and then you fly around and shit. I don't know. And then when they were gonna test it, the one it might have been the youngest son, I think, and his name was Falcon. I remember that stupid like, ass name. What are y'all talking about? Crawls into the balloon oh. and then they cut the tie and the balloon takes off and it goes flying. And then like it's all over the news that helicopters are chasing it. There's cars and trucks and the cops and everybody's like following it. and you see it flying over like cornfields and the forest and the lake. Like all this like crazy shit. And everyone's like, oh my god, like there's a fucking like seven year old in it or whatever. And then um hours later Falcon crawls out of their attic. attic. And he goes, oh, I got scared when everyone started yelling. You like Balloon Boy, like, Mama? You was never there. Exactly. So <laughs> it was like all a hoax. And then like it was very obviously like a promo thing for their weird fucking family band. It was like some right. like inbred rocker Brady Bunch like attempt and it did not work. But like when it all crumbled, they were doing an interview as a family, which why the fuck would you... These are babies. Like, they are not going to be able to stick to shit. The one kid is on there, and he's talking about, oh, oh, no, you told me to go in the attic. And he goes, what? No, I didn't. And he goes, yeah, you did. And then he goes, I don't feel well. And then he pukes all over the dad's <laughs> lap. And then it, like, all just fell apart from there. And that was awesome. Like, because then nobody I got hurt in that one. Well. Just, like, crazy shit. Did get sued? Oh, I'm sure for wasting resources yeah. and everything. But that was awesome. Like, I'd love that. That is amazing. And then they went on, um, or it was before that, they were on Wife Swap. Because then everyone's like, oh my god, I've seen these weirdos. Yes, yes. And they like, it it was weird, I don't know. But shit like that, we haven't had a story like that. And and it's unfortunately, like, it ended bad. But Balloon Boy, I can look back on fondly. Well, they also watched Streck, so. Streck? Boy, fuck you. Okay, Fiona. (laughs) Bitch, I'm Fiona Apple. (laughs) <laughs> like you set yourself up. Um, Fiona Apple is actually really pretty. Okay. If um, only her music was as beautiful. Next, um, um what what is honestly her earlier shit? I kind of do. Forget it. Wait, let um, me fetch the bolt cutters. What? What? Oh my god! So you know how? So <laughs> sometimes we get really tuked um and like there are things that i think are funny that i'll um type oh, no. down and stuff I'm scared. um this one is a little scary i just want to read it i it was jarred i don't think it's complete but here it is okay yeah <laughs> also you cannot trust the person who's also fucking toked up no this could have been like i said one word is it what i said or what we both said you think every, it is crazy because like, every other time you've done this you go, about jack says you this. jack says this Go ahead. Like, that's crazy. Go ahead. Anyways, <laughs> the quote is, he nuts. And I guess the response would be, oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? This is not funny. Like, I, I'm just, is- like, jarred. Um, The setup is, 
He's nuts. Set up. Yeah, I don't know. And I guess punchline's coming. And I guess the punchline or the funny, ironic thing to say after that is, (laughs) what is this gonna be? (laughs) Not funny. I don't remember this. Oh, honey, that's not diva. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you said that. (laughs) So fun, like stupid, (laughs) stupid, stupid, stupid shit. He nuts. Oh, honey, that's nut diva. <laughs> okay, I do remember laughing what? about that now. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> oh, honey, that's nut diva. Nut diva. As if, like, nut diva's a person, then? That's, like, their title? No. Is that what? Nut, comma, diva. Oh, honey, that's nut diva. <laughs> and I said he's nuts, whatever I was referring I, to? Again, I don't know why the hell you are inserting yourself into this. It's Who? Just... What the fuck? You were talking to yourself and said both of these lines? Because you're making it sound like I said he's nuts, and then you said, oh, that's nut diva. <laughs> I assume this was a conversation. I have no idea, but it's okay. so... Uh, I, 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 that was crazy as fuck. It was like the, um, what is that character in the... Uh... Okay, no, but I think you know what I'm talking about. The character in the jungle with the crazy hair. Bah! Mowgli. No. From um <laughs> Wild Thorn Berries. Right. Yes. Do you remember when Iggy... Do you remember when Iggy freestyled and it sounded a damn mess and people were like, she sounded like that wild berry. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it would cut to that like mid-sentence for her. <laughs> I do remember that. Igloo. She fell off. Yeah. Well, she's just chilling now, right? Yeah, she <laughs> makes money in other ways, I guess. Oh, yeah, she has an OnlyFans. What? Oh. She opened an OnlyFans. Well, good for her. I think she's a producer, too. See, like, that's nice. Like, you don't have to deal with everybody, like, being no, fully. fucking and face no and No one was into like... her music like that anyways, but... She had a couple good songs, actually. She, I, I mean, I enjoyed it, yeah. I like the fancy. beat. Fancy. I like the beat. I'm so fancy. I used to go up for go to work. Working on my Walk shit. That used to be my shit. Loops. Yeah, that's like she does have impact because people still say that all the time. She does. So Walk I guess go for her. In this little bit Didn't she say no? I don't know. Did she say the hard R? The other the R word, I think. Oh really? Rihanna. I, I feel like Rihanna's pregnancy was not rocky. That baby came out ASAP. Oh, oh no, no, nah. what's his name? <laughs> like, what, didn't she name it SZA? SZA 2? RZA. Everyone is so creative. I think it is RZA. She should have named it SZA 2. Fenty. She should have named it I'm So Mature. I'm So Mature. Okay, let me... <clears throat> oh, honey, that's not I Eva. do not have it in me to edit this in, so I'm going to say this and then <laughs> put my phone up to the camera. You are ghetto. Because I laughed out loud last night. It was right before bed. And I, like, was trying not to laugh out loud. Because it was, it's so fucking stupid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me not forget my big hat. <laughs> 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 and it's Zendaya in this crazy big hat. Oh, mm-hmm, fuck. Mm-hmm. There you go. Let me mm-hmm, not forget mm-hmm. my big hat. That And I was like, what is this? And that looks like how everybody describes the hat man when you drink too much NyQuil. What? That's like a thing. That is so scary. <laughs> that is really scary. Yeah, if you take too many or um, like have too much, the hat man. I take too many NyQuil. Is like the combo oh, pills because they do have little caps. You're just um, like a pill. That's a good song. It's um, good as shit. But no, everybody describes seeing a man like the outline of a man with a hat just like that, like with a big brim, and it goes up like in the doorway or against the wall. No. Yeah. Um, for non blondes. You know the group, yeah? What song do they sing? What's the main one? Hey, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I said, hey. What's going on? I get knocked down, but I get up again. Do you know what that song's called? No. Tub Thumping. What? And the band is Chumba Wumba. Y'all just like saying shit, huh? I get knocked down. But I, I get knocked down. Um, But she, the lead singer, helped Pink write her first hit. And I think just like a What pill. was Pink's first hit? I don't know. She was doing like R and B. She was an R and B diva. <laughs> okay, nut diva. Oh, honey, that's nut diva. <laughs> um, yeah, 
Pink actually does have some hits, and people don't give a shit about her. Oh. Well, especially when we saw her at Just the Chromatic Just like Ball. stinky pink magenta. That's an important update. Uh, my Emmy is incoming, everybody. Oh my God. Um, there were rumors that the Chromatica Ball film, huh? The Chromatica Ball was filmed in Los Angeles when I attended, and it was. And it was confirmed that it's. I don't know where it's going to be. Maybe HBO or some shit. But Gaga said, "I'm editing it as we speak." Blah blah blah. She was saying all this, and we got right in the camera. So when that drops, um, I'll be sure to update people if I'm in it. But that's my chance to get an Emmy. I'm going to beat Ua to an Emmy. After all this practicing and auditioning and working to hone your craft, my Emmy's incoming. Yeah. But yours will come. Yeah. So, yeah, that's an exciting update, too. Thinking of a Grammy. <laughs> I'm not getting into that. We're that's not for explaining it. Um, I have another quick story that I forgot to tell last time. Um, Whose house we went to for the Memorial Day party when I was with Maisie and Murphy when I found out about the uh, Maisie versus Monkey update with the squatter. Right. Are you paying attention or are you playing fucking Candy Crush on iPhone? <laughs> I am paying attention. Addicted to iTouch? I might as um, well face it, I'm addicted to iTouch. The guy whose house we were at said that when he was younger, um, was it him or his brother? One of them, I don't know, had like some some sort of like dirty magazines and the dad like found them what? or something and was like what is this you can't have this in the house there's ladies in this house like that's not right like that's disrespectful or whatever and he's like you need to get rid of these and uh he was like oh fuck um and whoever it was either you might as well face it i'm addicted to porn <laughs> literally and they were like i think he said they were like 14 at the time or something yeah and uh well i mean shit like that happens. yeah that i was gonna say saying that is like yeah whatever but it's relative yeah. um but so he's like you can't have this so then he gives it to whoever to get rid of and then i guess the dad goes back and checks the same spot where he found it to see if they kept it and they did but they cut out each putsy they cut it out and then the dad says what is this and he holds it up and they go what and he goes, who cut out the harmonicas? <laughs> Har harmonica. Harmonica. And I was like blown okay, away. The, good thing on the dad, because he's teaching that person, that male, mm -hmm. women deserve pleasure. Women deserve oral. What? Play that harmonica. And play oh, it good. I was like, where, what is that he didn't tell Because men don't know okay. how to do head, apparently. I was confused. As I thought you, I'm like, he didn't tell them to cut it out, and I don't know how that connects to that. But I get what you're saying now. But that is so funny, because I've never heard that. Harmonica is term. crazy. <laughs> Literally. Play like, melodies on the fucking putsy. That shit cracked harmonica. me up. I was weak as shit when he harmonica? said that. Who cut out all the harmonicas? What are penises? And there's tiny little <laughs> holes in each page where they like took what the scissors What are penises? To. Flutes? Neoma skin flute. Oh. Of course. Um. Yeah, obviously. But um, I thought that was funny and I meant to share that last week and then I remembered it this week while I was driving one day. And I'm like, let me type that down. So yeah, that was my harmonica, harmonica story. Harmonica is crazy as hell. So now if you hear me ever use that, you know. A daisy. What is it? Rena. Rena, say it. Say it, Rena. Penis. It's a it's penis, a penis Rena. Rena. <laughs> That's crazy you remember that name. What do you feel about the name Rena? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have a story about that. I don't know if I told that. I'm slipping. My mind is fried. Um Okay, and now that's her fucking name, and you know it. I can't say. <laughs> um, there was a Reyna in my one class in college, and it was, like, her and a few others, and the one other girl that was in the group we went to grade school Great. with. And then, like, the other people, there's like, three guys and, like, four girls, I think. We all sat together all the time, whatever. It was fine. So on the last day of class, we're like, oh, let's go get food, like, whatever. And we're like, okay. So we go, and we're sitting there, and the topic came up about um, having kids, and, like, yeah. how, like, people having kids young, like, how big, like, how insane that is. Where I'm, like, people going through school and also, like, oh parenting, like, that's crazy. Like, I can't imagine. Mm -mm. And I was just, like, uh -uh. 
no literally and <laughs> they're talking about like yeah like imagine like having a kid at like 19 and like that's your life then like and i was God, like i said fuck. i'm not kidding like sorry that thing's out or i'm out like i'm i'm fuck that shit like i that's too much that is so much you don't know how to take care of yourself at oh 19 20 barely now i'm like i would be like yeah let me take care of another human being like and teach it things yeah no. teach it that responsibility and i said i'm like i would blow my fucking brains out if that happened if you're like 16 like the really young i said i'd blow my fucking brains out if that happened Raina sitting right there Team mom my son turned seven last year well Raina's still standing <laughs> and i was like don't mm. rain on my parade girl don't rain on but I literally, Raina, I, I just went. <laughs> and I she got you a bit with that. I, she did, and then like there was and a I couple laughed. like nervous laughs, and the one girl went. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Where's our food?" <laughs> but like that was really funny. That's my Raina story. Why did you ask if I like that name? Was it that a story, or are you just wondering? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just curious. I guess yeah, it's I fine. knew there was something there. No, um, it's fine. Yeah, I like it. Also, depends how you spell it. R E I N A, like, because doesn't that mean queen in Spanish? Reina. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. It's fine. Yeah. I have my kids' names. What do you? We don't want to hear that. But what do you feel about Tesfe? Fucking stupid. Uh, the fucking idol tanked. Don't say the line. <laughs> um. Yeah, and they tanked, and I. I thought it was going to be a joke. I don't know if anybody has what well, Neoma, I'm sure, has been seated by now because she was, like, chomping at the fucking bit to watch she it. She was. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed it, but I don't think anybody else I know watched it. But the first trailers, it looked like a joke. Like, I thought, I thought it was a it was. parody thing. Yeah. And then, like, they're like, no, this is serious. And so, the clips I've seen, it's ridiculous. They should pivot and do a parody, like, marketing thing. Like, that could be yeah. the only thing... Well, they're screwed. They already got canceled, so yeah. good. But yeah, they tanked. Or at least it was a limited series that didn't get picked back up. They love a limited series. They it's really like, do. no, you suck. Oh. So if anyone watches The Idols, sound off in the comments. And yeah, Abel Tesfe, that's The weekend's real name, and he stars in it, and he has a greasy rat's tail. They made him have like the straightened flat hair with like a little tail in the back, and it's just he like, it's very hard to look at. And everyone's like, I can't even listen to his music anymore because <gasps> I picture that, like, and it, like, makes me uncomfortable. I'm like, he played himself Damn. bad, like. But didn't he want to, like, strip down and be, like, a nobody he, or something? Well, he's really doing, it's starring in the HBO series. <laughs> but it's working out if that's what he really wants because he is never getting an acting gig again. And the one account said, when they do updates on stuff, it says, attempted actor... Abel Tesfe, blah, blah, blah. Struggling. Attempted actor. Struggling actor. Awful. Yeah. I don't know shit about that. Um, what are we at? I think it's, oh, it's time. time to wrap it up. Um, we didn't do any Pride Month special. Fuck y'all. <laughs> okay. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Okay? It's over. Okay. Can't wait for June. Oh, well, can't wait for July. We're here. Um, yo. Oh, my God. Wait. Fuck. What is the post? Um... Um, Ju uh, July is here. You're done being queer. <laughs> Period. Oh, yes, God, honey. July yeah. is here. You're done being queer. What are you? One of them. Then by theirs. Is. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's the, um, uh, Pride Month is over and it spells out demon. Oh, no. It's like Pride Month, Pride Month, Pride Month. And then if you too, take yeah. a letter off from each side, it demon. says demon. Um, that's funny. And that reminds me because like crazy <laughs> conspiracy vibes. I forgot to mention this. People are already starting on Twitter. Do those people in the submarine know the Clintons? Do they have oh ties to the Clintons? Oh, my God. People are dead. Oh, people my God. People are dead. Like, why Give would you just take up. them out back and shoot them? You're going to do this elaborate thing that the whole world is going to fucking yeah. watch. Crazy. Like, you want a plot? Go watch a fucking movie. You want Con a plot line? Go watch a bitch, fucking and that's movie. The th that's what I'm talking. Oh, wow. That is so funny. Earlier, I was in the fucking bathroom doing my pretty girl things. And I'm like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Bitch, writer strike. What writer strike? There are conservatives that are willing, are jumping, <laughs> chomping at the bit to give you a fucking story. With Go to them. really intense storylines with crazy twists and turns everywhere Every you look. Every which way. Yep. Reality is stranger than fiction, they say. Go to them. 
literally go to like, them. We could have the new Stranger Things season by this Halloween. We could have Euphoria back by. Oh Christmas. come on, yeah. Also, Euphoria. Them saying we're hoping to get season three aired by twenty twenty six. We don't give a fuck. Sorry, twenty twenty six. I yeah, I, 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 I was like, oh no, I'll wait for twenty twenty four. I actually don't give a fuck anymore. Like, no. For what? For you to fuck up another plot? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Kill all guy, the good characters. Oh, and that like, guy, Sam Levison, um, who does Euphoria, he's over. is in charge of the idol. And he has and that's I hope another he's weird o- over sex because thing. doesn't he do like no no one else in the writers room but him no one over yeah. directing but him like yeah no they filmed the entire show the idol and then he joined and then did the weekend joint after that the weekend was on it playing that character oh yeah it was like a female director and, and then... they literally refilmed the entire show when he rewrote it and now it's like a weird like. Everyone's like, this is what happens when you give a porn addict the chance to direct, like, a fucking TV show. That's and also it's like, hilarious. The way he does Euphoria, like, yeah, it's that not is looking good. And they're kids in Euphoria. They're still in high school. I don't know. Yikes. So if you go watch that bullshit, comment below and let us know how awful it is. Um, thank you for watching us and listening to us. And uh, happy Pride Month. I and... really like this episode. Yeah. Yeah. It was nice and fine and Did dandy. you all? Hopefully. But um yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and comment, show love. Uh follow our Instagrams, follow the Wonderful Brains Instagram. TikTok is finally gonna have more stuff soon because <laughs> uh, yeah. Um and I don't know, is there anything else to add? I had a Not whole nother really. talking point which I said, Oh, that'll be the topic next Can't forget, week. Yeah. And I had it ready today and then we just Yeah, you know, so. freestyle. Next time you'll get that story. You're really uh getting two cliffhangers now third week in a row but yeah thank you guys for watching we will see you guys in july then yeah period yeah july is here you're done being queer (laughs) done done you're done done, your bones bones. all right see you guys thanks for watching and it's tweeting and it's talking